some bag fishes. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. Today is Friday, December 10th. It's currently 5.53 p.m. It feels weird starting the vlog this late in the day. And by that, I mean like talking for the first time this late in the day. I just felt like vlogging today. So this video is going to be kind of like a week in my life in New York, but more like a few days in my life. I don't know. I'm just gonna vlog anything interesting that I do over the next few days and put it all in this video great so yeah as you saw i went to ralph's earlier i got the same thing i got the first time an iced vanilla latte with oat milk it's so good and then i decided to walk over to the met the metropolitan museum of art i've only been there once it was before i even started my youtube channel that i went there i don't know i just felt like going today and walking around and looking at art so that's what i did and it was so nice it was fun i didn't have headphones in or anything i was just you know alone with my thoughts and the art and of course like the thousand other people that were there but i didn't interact with them you know so yeah also this lighting sucks like i don't know what to do this is why i hate filming at night the overhead lighting is so bright but it makes the quality look like shit but if i turn it off and i just leave my hue lights on then it also looks like shit like, I can't win. This is why I like filming with natural light. So when we have this whole daylight savings thing and the sun goes down at like 2 p.m., it's really difficult for me. I like this better, honestly. And if it looks like shit, then that's fine. What are you gonna do? I am really hungry, so I am going to order food, which actually brings us to the sponsor of today's video, which is Grubhub. Thank you so much to Grubhub for sponsoring today's video. You've probably heard of Grubhub before, but if you're not familiar with them, they are a food delivery service. You can order from so many different restaurants, from national chains to your favorite local spots. And with the Grubhub guarantee, you get your food delivered at the lowest price and on time, guaranteed, or they will make it right. So let's put this guarantee to the test, shall we? I'm gonna order dinner. So I'm gonna hop onto the Grubhub app and I already know what I want. I already know what I want. I'm getting Italian. So I think I'm gonna order from Lena's Italian Kitchen. I've never gotten food from here before but obviously they have really good reviews so i have this favorite local restaurant back home that i get the best penne vodka from and i am looking for something like that here so maybe just maybe this could be it oh they have penne vodka hell yeah oh my god so pasta me a penne Add to bag. All right, so I placed my order. It says Lena's Italian Kitchen is preparing your order to be delivered between 6.45 and 6.55 p.m. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. You can click the link in my description to order your local favorites and test the Grubhub guarantee for yourself. And again, thank you so much to Grubhub for sponsoring today's video. And now we wait. sauce on it in the picture but I can turn on my 
dinner entertainment. I'm not gonna lie, still nothing compares to my favorite at home. But this, this is good. I respect this and now I'm gonna eat it. and shitty outside today so the thought of leaving my apartment i was just not vibing with that it's not the vibe i decided that today i'm just gonna stay in and do work here at home i do have like kind of a lot of things to do oh shit this is a 2021 planner it's almost 2022 i'm used to having the academic planners that are the whole year from august to may or whatever june we are almost halfway through december which is scary Ooh, let me show you my cute little daily scheduler pad that i've been using i've been using this it's by katie bilotti and i love this notepad it's so convenient i like how it's laid out this is not sponsored. this is what i use so let's write down what we want to do today that I was only gonna film the interesting things in my life in this vlog, but I thought it actually would be kind of interesting to talk you through what I'm doing when I say I am working, since obviously I don't have a fucking common job. So what you just saw was me doing some research on a potential brand for a partnership that I might be doing. I always research the brands that approach me with deals, especially if I'm not too familiar with them before I accept, obviously. And then I moved into setting up my video that's going up tomorrow. So that pretty much entails doing all of the stuff in the description, actually giving the video a title, making a thumbnail, which will come in a second. And right now I am doing tags, which is kind of like search engine optimization. I'm basically just doing a bunch of test searches of keywords and phrases that are relevant to what I'm doing in my video, seeing which ones pop up first in the search results and putting them into my tags. Next, I'm getting into one of my most favorite parts of the entire video making process, and that is creating the thumbnail for it. I take such pride in my thumbnails and I spend a lot of time on them and it's quite a process. What the f literal f She's so unbothered. Okay. Like I was saying, making a thumbnail is a process. The first few steps I usually do on my phone and then I airdrop everything over to my iPad. I edit photos from my phone, whether they are photos I took on my phone or screenshots from the video. And then I will put them into a layout on an app on my phone. And then I just easily airdrop them over and I go into Procreate, which is my favorite app of all freaking time. And that's what I use to add things to the thumbnail, whether it be other pictures or obviously the writing and the actual title. I just have a lot of fun with these because I really like drawing on my iPad in general. It's just a really nice creative outlet for me. I also typically watch YouTube videos in the background while I am doing this. It just elevates the whole experience for me. Hi, it's a solid two hours later since I last talked to you. It legitimately took me two full hours to make 
the thumbnail for tomorrow's video. There's a few reasons for that. Number one, I'm a perfectionist, especially when it comes to thumbnails. I didn't know what direction I wanted to go in with this thumbnail at first. So I tried like a million different combinations of pictures. I really wanted to make this one good because this vlog that I'm posting tomorrow, which by the time you're seeing this, it will have been last week's video, is one of my favorite videos I've ever made. I want the thumbnail to match the vibe and the like how much I love the video. I want to love the thumbnail that much. But I finally came up with a thumbnail I think I like here it is you've already seen it it was last week's thumbnail that's what I've been doing for the past two hours and now it is 4 p.m. and my battery's dying hold on I'm gonna go ahead and plan out my content that I have due for Best Buy next week actually my last month of the partnership it's going live in January so that is so sad I've been having so much fun doing this with Best Buy I love Best Buy hopefully I can work with them again in the future I need to plan out what I'm going to be doing All right, so this is due on Thursday of next week, 16th, but I don't have the products yet. So I'm probably gonna need to shoot this really fast and get it turned around really fast. So I'm gonna try and plan out what I'm gonna do so that I can get copy written already and have an outline of what I'm doing so that I just have to shoot the photos with the products and then obviously like edit it. I'm gonna work on that now and then I will make something for dinner. I don't know what I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna make yet. I might just heat something up. Let's get into it. Hi, me again, here to talk more about my job. <laughs> this is one of my favorite parts. There's a lot of planning and concepting and outlining that goes into making sponsored content. My little marketing major heart just flutters when I get to this part. I get sent a creative brief for partnerships and then I sit and I review the brief and I figure out what the concept and the direction of my content for this campaign should be. This takes into account so many things that I learned in my advertising and marketing strategy classes in college. It's just so much fun to apply all of it. Obviously that's the point of getting a degree. Good morning, it is Sunday. It is a beautiful sunny day outside. So I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna go, maybe Soho. But my Apple Watch is finally charged so I can track my walking. Walking has easily become my favorite form of exercise because it's easy and it's fun because you get to walk around and look at stuff. And I'm probably gonna go to a coffee shop somewhere along the way. There's only like a million to choose from. I'm very excited, so let's go. It's Monday. <laughs> yeah, I didn't vlog anything else after what you guys saw yesterday. So it's Monday now. It's 11.45 and I was planning on getting a much earlier start to this day. However, I had a bit of a debacle with CVS this morning. So I decided to get myself Starbucks as a reward. I haven't had a toasted white chocolate mocha in a while, so I just picked this up on the way home. And now I'm finally sitting down and I'm going to get to work. I have a lot of editing to do today. I need to have this video edited that I'm currently filming. Okay, I don't know if anyone can hear that godforsaken noise in the background, but it's kind of driving me nuts and I wanted to apologize and say that it's my dryer. I think there's something wrong with it again. So yeah, it's annoying, sorry. And submitted for review from Grubhub on Wednesday. Oh, I also have some apartment updates in terms of decor. I have been doing some things, ordering some things the past like week for some living room decor, finally, things to put on the walls. I am going to get to editing. Awesome. We love a good work from home Monday. Thank God I got an extra shot in this coffee because I need it. <laughs>
a brief intermission from editing because I just got a package from Bath and Body Works. I'm assuming these are my candles that I ordered during the candle day sale. I'm pretty sure I ordered five candles and I only got one. Yay! Sweater weather. There's one of the candles I ordered. I don't know where the other ones are. Oh, okay, they ship separately. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, okay, so I ordered four total, not, not five. Anyway, I'm gonna burn this one. I'm very excited. <laughs> I wish I had better lighting here. Yeah, but I don't have any lights here. So like I can't really expect much I do love having a wide-angle lens though. Oh my god. My hand looks so big I am still editing. It is 4 48 p.m. Right now I'm gonna get through the rest of what I have here and finish this rough edit and then probably get some food for dinner <laughs> It is now Tuesday. I just got ready because I felt like going somewhere. I wanted to go do something specifically that I didn't even know existed until I moved here. And I might be the only one. Maybe I'm just like not up with the times, but one of my newfound favorite activities to do here is going to sample sales. Oh my God, there's so much fun. Essentially, if you don't know what a sample sale is, how do I explain this? So there's this one specific company. It's This is obviously not sponsored, but it's 260 Sample Sale. They're a company that like has different locations in the city. I think there's a, there's a few of them around the city. And they have a couple locations in other states. I think there's one in Florida and one in California. They own these like stores where each week they host different brands, like different expensive brands. The brand brings a bunch of stuff and everything in there is discounted. It's just so much freaking fun. I've been to two so far. I went to Alice and Olivia and I went to Rag and Bone. I thought that it would be fun to bring you guys along with me today. There's a really good one going on right now. It's Eileen Fisher and the prices are so good. Theory is also having one, but their prices are crazy high even for the sale. And I'm just like not in the position to want to spend money like that. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go over to the Eileen Fisher sample sale and see if we can find anything. I just wanna go check it out. I thought it would be fun and it would be interesting for the vlog. All right, we're gonna go. I also just got ready and I put on the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner and called? lipstick today. I don't know why I did that because I'm gonna have to wear a mask. So like, what is the point? But I wanted to try it out because I've never tried before and I have seen people raving about it and I really f like it. I said in the last video that my outfit base is always a black shirt and some jeans. So this is what we have and then I'm wearing this jacket That's also I think just like really cool. I got this jacket at TG Maxx. This shirt is the same garage shirt that I wore in my last video These jeans are the Abercrombie Curve Love 90s high-rise straight jeans as always and then we have some Nike Jordan ones. I feel cool in this outfit I've loved expanding my style since I've come here. Oh my gosh. It just makes me so happy to put an outfit together that I really really like and I think is cool. I wanted to go out into the world and walk around a little bit today because I am going to be holed up in my apartment for the rest of today once I get back and all of tomorrow because I have a lot of content due tomorrow including this video. I figured I would take some time, go get some fresh air, go on a little walk and take you guys along with me. All right, let's go. <laughs> Oh my 
god, I look like a buttered roll. I am upset that I don't have a haul for you for the sample sale that I went to. So I decided that I'm gonna give you a haul of the things that I bought at the two other sample sales that I've been to. I never did a haul of any of that stuff. I've never shown any of it. I thought that would be fun. I don't remember how much these things were. One of them was like a few weeks ago and the other was a couple weeks ago and I don't have the receipts. So I am sorry. And I'm also gonna do it at the speed of light because the sun is setting at an aggressively fast pace right now. The first one that I went to was Alice and Olivia. I got these jackets. This one is this faux leather caramel color trench coat situation. It is gorgeous. This is like how long it is, if that helps at all. So then the other thing that I got from Alice and Olivia was this pinstripe white blazer. When I first saw this, I just like immediately fell in love with it because I don't have any blazers that are white. I don't really have many blazers at all. But then when I came home and I looked at it some more, it's giving doctor and I don't know how to change that in my mind. I'm sure I will figure something out. I still really like it. I just got to figure out how to pull this off. Okay, so that was that. The next one I went to was Rag and Bone. So I did get four things. I thought I got five. I did. Holy shit, I got a pair of jeans. These jeans are the one thing that I remember the price for because they were only $40. And if you've ever seen rag and bone jeans, they are so expensive. So I'll start with these. I got these jeans. They're like a cream off white color. I don't have any pants, any jeans in this color. They are high rise cropped flare jeans. They are so cute. For $40, I was sold. Um, and then the rest of these things I got were jackets, of course. First and foremost, I picked up this jean jacket. I just think this is a staple. I only own one jean jacket other than this. I guess it's a medium wash, but it's a darker medium wash. It's really rigid. I like this one because it's a little bit of a lighter medium wash and it is so, I don't know how to explain this. Loose? Fitting. It's really light and throw this over so many things, which I love. I like to wear jean jackets over like a hoodie or something. I also got this one in an extra large so that it would be a bit oversized, of course. I love this. This is an absolute staple and great quality. I'm gonna have this for a really long time. Next thing I got was another jean jacket, but this one is this gray situation. And this one is, I guess it is kind of cropped, but not like extremely. I just saw this and I pictured me like going out to a bar or something in the city, like wearing this and just looking really cool so I got this one as well then I picked up this jacket which I think might actually be men's but again you know me the men's section is never off limits it's this navy blue I don't think it's a jean jacket it gives me corduroy vibes but it's not I don't know what material this is maybe it's jean it's like a longer jacket I don't know how to explain it to you so I figured I would just show you this is just so me, it hurts. And the last thing that I got is actually a vest. I don't have anything like this and I just think it's sick. So it's this faux leather black vest. I mean, actually it might be a button up. Oh, it is a button up, but I would wear it open as a vest. I could just see myself wearing this with like a black turtleneck underneath. And I don't know about the rest of the outfit, but I just think that this over a black turtleneck would be cool. It's giving Damon Salvatore, but without the sleeves. You know what I mean? Obviously I would never wear it with this, but like, it's just really cool. And then that is the last thing that I got from there. That's my sample sale haul of everything that I've gotten from the sample sales I've been to. Okay, it's four o'clock now. I want to update you guys on my apartment decor. I do have some updates. Last week, I spent some time putting together ideas for what I wanted to do for the one wall in my living room. I wanted to make it a gallery wall. I knew I wanted to do that from the start. Gallery walls are overwhelming to me because it feels like I have to get it so perfect so that it looks like perfectly aesthetic and everything looks good together. I just was overwhelmed by the thought. But last week I finally did some searching on the internet. I was finding art that I thought would look good. I ended up making a like mock-up on Canva, found a layout of frames that I liked to put the art into different frames to see like how it would all look together. Also, I decided to mark on my wall the different sizes of frames that I wanted to get and put them in the layout that I was envisioning. I will probably move them over a little bit, all of them, because there's, I feel like there's more space on this side than there is on this side. Make sure that it's like actually in the center. I haven't ordered any of the frames yet because I don't know what colors I want. I don't know if I want to do a variety. I don't know if I want to do like some wood, 
some white and some black or if I want to do all wood but if I did all wood they wouldn't all be the exact same color because I can't get all of the different sizes from the same place without it being literally a thousand dollars bing bong i don't know what i'm doing with that yet i do have a couple more frames that i need to fill with something so i need to continue looking on google i am really trying to make this gallery wall really cool i went for like a brown toned theme with it because i wanted it to complement the brick and the brick is the whole wall on this side the gallery wall is going to be on the opposite side of the brick wall but i want it to feel like it's still drawing colors from the brick wall so that it all meshes well together you know what i mean that's where i'm at with that another update the wall that's right here on the opposite side of my closet is where my mirror is up against right now and i'm gonna keep the mirror there but i moved it over more towards the door frame so that i could have more wall space and i decided i wanted to put some shelves on the wall so i ordered three floating shelves from urban outfitters the other day they were just perfect i will show you them in a second because i got them in today and i'm really excited to put them up i think i'm gonna put them up like now i'm a big proponent of using your vertical space especially the walls when trying to store things in a small area and i feel like the shelves that i bought are like actually perfect for the vibe i'm going for okay i am gonna unwrap my shelves these are the addison metal bracket wood wall shelves in the color black from urban outfitters if you were curious i haven't even showed you them yet Ooh. i am <laughs> These are so good. Oh my God. I am so excited. These are gonna look amazing. Number two. Third and final. I am crying. I'm gonna put them here. I was thinking maybe I could do like one here and then one here and one here, kind of like. And here. I'm so indecisive. All right, I made a decision. Ah, thank you, I know, I know, that was a lot. Thank you so much, thank you, okay. I'm only gonna do two on this wall because I just feel like three is too crowded, it's too much. So I'm gonna do one here, I think, and one over here. And then the third one, I think I'm gonna put on this wall. Once I take down this garland, I think I'm gonna put the third one over here so it's like above the table. I don't know, I just thought that would be really cute if I got like a little plant or something, some other shit. I don't have anything on this wall obviously either. I think I'm gonna put that over there above the table. Now that we finally made a decision, which only took like 20 minutes of me staring at the wall in silence, I'm gonna mark the holes where I need to drill. I have my two tool bags. drilled these holes. What I was gonna say is I would like to publicly thank my father for teaching me how to do all of this. All right, now I have to do this god-awful hammering again. Here they are. I love them and I can't wait to make them cute. I think it's gonna look so good with the gallery wall. Oh my gosh, I'm finally, I finally have things coming along. This is great. 
Hi, this video is extremely long, so I am here to wrap it up. That is gonna be the end of today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have stayed until this point in the video, comment down below, I'm a real one because you're a real one. This video is literally 30 minutes long. If you wanna see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every Sunday. And if you forget that I post a new video every Sunday or you just wanna get notified right when I post, make sure to turn on my post notifications, the little bell icon so that you never miss an upload and you get notified right when I post a new video. Again, thank you so much to Grubhub for sponsoring today's video. You guys can click the link in my description to check out Grubhub and test the Grubhub guarantee for yourself. And with that, I think that's it. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.